both the NASA data and the full-scale proof-of-concept tests prove that the movie scene's a sham. Yeah, but it didn't smash through the windshield. But what if the crash had been a regular head-on? By eliminating the 40-foot flight, would the surfboard then become a lethal weapon? To find out, tori has got a plan for a surfboard surprise that should be way more reliable than the towing system. This thing is over 25 feet long. It weighs over 1,000 pounds, made of a 5-inch square steel beam. Now, the reason why it needs to be long and strong is because we are going to be launching surfboards. Strong because of all that stress it's going to be under when we attach these bungee cords and pull this surfboard back. And why long? Because we need that run-up to get that surfboard going 40 miles an hour before it hits that windshield. This is going to be a serious slingshot. It's a seriously beefy build. Yeah, this is a good way to start. That expert builder Tori is relishing. All right, so I have my rails set up that the uh, surfboard can run along. I also have a track down the center, so I can attach the surfboard to this little trolley, and this trolley will fit into the track, and we will know the surfboard is gonna go exactly where we point this thing. And with some serious science about to get sprung, let's step outside. Okay, so now that Tori has finished the surfboard firing rig, we need a way to accelerate our surfboard up to our target speed of 40 miles an hour. And we're gonna do that using this industrial grade bungee. What we need to do is calibrate how far back to pull the bungee in order to get the surfboard up to 40 miles an hour. And with a high speed gauge, a target, and a mattress come crash pad in place. That looks good. It's time to commence the calibration. Shall we start at 10 feet? Yeah, let me pull it back to 10 feet and see how fast the surfboard flies. All right, let me know when to stop. Grant triggers the winch, and when the board hits the 10-foot marker, it's over to Tori. Surfboard calibration in three, two, one. Wow! Whoa. That was amazing! Oh my gosh. That might be going fast. <laughs> Carry spot on. The 10-foot pullback resulted in a speed of over 70 miles an hour. So for yeah. test two, they dial it back to six feet of tension. All right, this is launching from six feet away in three, two, one. Once again, the shot was on the money. And once again, at 52 miles per hour, it was too fast. So Tori dials it down for test three. Here we go, surfboard sleek shot calibration test at five feet in three, two, one. Okay, it looks like it's going 17 frames over a foot. So that's about 58. 58.8 feet per second. Okay. That's 40 miles an hour. We hit our target speed. That's All right. crazy. We actually got the exact speed. All it right. never happens. <laughs> With the rig calibrated, what's next? Now, it's time to set up the car, put the man inside, and see if this surfboard will punch through the window and kill that guy. Since humans first conquered the waves, the surfboard has been the tool of choice. But in the wrong hands, can it really kill you? So we are set. We have our vehicle in place. Inside, we have our man with the human analog neck. Right. Oh, careful. Stretch across the door opening, we have our bungee cord, which is hooked in to our surfboard. And the surfboard is hooked up to a quick release, which is also connected to this cable. Now all we need to do is pull the surfboard back with the winch till we get to the right position on our surfboard sleek shot. Then we're gonna release it and let it crash into the windshield going 40 miles an hour and find out if this myth is it fact true or not? Okay, five feet, 40 miles an hour, straight through the windshield. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> surfboard came in, hit the windshield, the windshield absorbed the impact, and the surfboard glanced off the top. That's because this safety glass, which is standard on modern American automobiles, has many layers, and those are designed to absorb that impact energy and keep the driver safe, which is exactly what it did here. 
Or to put it another way... The windshield's busted and so is the myth. At 40 miles an hour, surfboard is not going to penetrate the windshield and kill our target. Yep, even point blank, a 40 mile an hour surfboard will not be fatal. But how about faster still? With a new windscreen in place... Oh yeah, that feels nice. The team's ramping it up. 11 feet. Looking good. 12 feet. Uh, <laughs> winch is slowing down. 13 feet. All right, oh. that's, as, that's as much as the winch is going to pull. Oh, yeah. We're it. at 15 feet. You guys oh, ready? It. With the winch maxed out under the tension, it's time to unleash the beast. The 15-foot pull turned into an 85-mile-an-hour hit. But what happened to Buster? Even with the surfboard traveling 85 miles an hour, the windshield still absorbed all the energy of the impact and stopped it before it hit our driver. That means that this myth is not just busted, it is double busted. Double busted here, but at least double that over the entire experiment. We busted this myth in multiple ways. Number one, aim. When you have a real vehicle hitting another vehicle with a surfboard on the top, hitting your mark is very difficult, not to mention transferring the energy to the surfboard. Number two, aerodynamics. We've analyzed the aerodynamics of the surfboard, and they make it very difficult for the surfboard to fly straight through the air. Number three, force. So even at 85 miles per hour, twice the speed as in the myth, it just bounces right off the safety glass and doesn't pierce. No matter how you look at it, this one is busted. Ah!